my friend deformed over came to my house and he is teaching me how to juggle today. That was the reward for raising so much money for charity. So here we are. <laughs> Yay. Yay. <laughs> so um, this is the pattern. It's a three ball cascade. It's the easiest way to juggle. So this is what we're going to learn. And it's, it, it, I made this diagram so that people can understand the throws and the catches where they're located. So the first thing that you do when you learn how to juggle is just familiarize yourself with this pattern. So you want to understand the pattern. So we're going to do the three, it, sometimes they call it the golden arches. It's a three ball cascade. And it has, as you see, it has two targets up above, kind of at arm's length above your head. And so you try to hit those targets. And so the pattern looks like that. I'm doing it too low, actually. When, we, when you learn the pattern, you juggle higher like this. Okay. When you're first learning, it, you go up high. The thing right now is we're just looking at the pattern and understanding it. So the throw, when I throw, my hand is a little bit closer. And when I catch, my hand is a little bit farther out. And that's what this diagram means. This diagram means shows you where the throws are and where the catches are, and it shows you where those targets are that you're trying to hit. And that's a three ball cascade. Okay, so I made some placards to talk about common myths, and we're gonna dispel three myths. So myth number one is superior hand-eye coordination is needed to learn how to juggle. Um, that's not true at all. Um, if you can ride a bike, if you can tie your shoes, if you can drive a car, you, you, can, you can do any of those things. You can learn how to juggle. No, no special hand-eye coordination is needed. Myth number two is a negative state of mind will stop you from learning how to juggle. A lot of people really strongly believe this and they, they really get into their own heads and they think, oh, you know, I gotta, I gotta psych myself up. I gotta, I gotta be, you know, have that positive state of mind. It helps, a little positive state of mind will help, but you can, you can be the grouchiest, but you can be in the worst negative state of mind and as long as you keep practicing, you will get it. It's really about how many practice throws that you do. So myth number three, and this is a big one. Myth number three is you can measure your progress by competing with another person. Um, it's okay if you're a competitive person, it's okay to, to, um, to compete if it motivates you, but it's not a good measure of progress because not everyone is starting at the same point. So um, a lot of people have played a lot of sports. You know, juggling is all about doing gentle, controlled throws to yourself. And um, people have had wildly different amounts of practice doing this. If you've, if you've played a lot of baseball, you might, uh, you know, you're waiting for your turn at bat, you might, you might be doing this the whole time. Um, so people have played a lot of sports, they've had a lot more practice doing throws to themselves. And some people have had very little practice. I used to say that some, everyone's an expert catcher. Like I'd throw people balls and say, you're, you're already an expert catcher. You don't even need to learn how to catch. Even that's not true. So some people have done very little catching and they need to practice that too. So don't compare yourself to other people unless you, you're sure that it motivates yourself, then it's okay. So those are the three myths. I think that's part of my problem is I have really bad like hand-eye coordination. <laughs> so well, it's hard for me to get but it's good enough to learn how to juggle. And, and it's not as bad as you think. It's mostly learning. It's mostly skill. Mm -hmm. It's mostly a learned skill. It's not an innate thing. Yeah, for sure. Um, how do we learn? How do we learn? So there are three steps. Okay. And it's not like it's not like graduating from first grade to second. This is my, this is my method, by the way. Mm -hmm. You don't graduate from one step to the next. You, you cycle through the steps. Okay. I recommend that you practice five minutes on each step and just keep cycling. Okay. It's really about how many practice throws you do. Okay. Step one, we've already learned the pattern. We've already know, we looked at that picture, yeah. we understand the pattern. So what we're gonna do in step one is we're gonna try to do perfect throws, just one ball, a perfect throw that's gonna fit into that pattern. Okay. So you, you, when you throw, the throw box is a little closer to your body and the catch box is gonna be over here, a little bit farther from your body and you're gonna try to hit those targets. And when you throw from your right hand, you hit the left target you go from your left hand, you hit the right card. And so you, this is step one, just whoops, and look at that, I dropped the very first throw, I dropped it. So you just do those practice throws and uh, try to do them perfectly. So try to throw from the perfect spot, try to hit the target, try to catch from the perfect spot. Okay. So you want to keep your hands stationary? You don't want to like... Uh, it, it doesn't matter too much. Well, it, yes, in the, in the plane, the whole pattern is in a plane. It is not forward or back. It's 
all... It is all side to side. Okay. The goal is just to try to do a good throw. Okay. But everybody's going to, you know, if you do if you do a little bit of a sloppy throw, you move a little bit and catch it. Okay. And, but yeah, that's my problem is I, I have trouble doing the arc like... Yeah, but that looks good. Okay, so step two. Step two is the hardest of the three. Okay. It is called an exchange. And a, uh, an exchange is when you do two throws and two catches. So you can go right, left, catch, catch. Or you can, and you, the other exchange. <laughs> this is going to be dangerous. There are two exchanges. Okay. So there's right, left exchange, and there's left, right exchange. Okay. And it's hard. This is the hardest step. Um, but uh, that that is all there is to juggle. Juggling three balls, a three ball cascade is just a series of exchanges. There's it's just the exchange, and then the timing. Uh -huh. That might be one of the things. Like when I'm doing my practice on streams, I'm always doing right to left, not left to right. So I haven't mastered the exchange on the other side. They're completely different. Yeah. It's, a diff it's a different skill. Some people can reverse a skill in their head. I cannot. It's, I have yeah. to practice it both. Um, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so step three. All right. Step three is three throws, and you can just you can do three catches if you want, or you can just do two catches. So step three, uh, I'm gonna throw this ball, that ball, the one that's in front. Then I'm gonna throw this ball in my left hand, and then I'm gonna throw the ball that's in back in the right hand. That's the order that I'm gonna throw. Looks like this. One, two. Or you can, if you want, you can let the last ball hit the ground. You can go one, two, three, and let the last one hit the ground. The only thing that matters is that timing and whether you hit the targets. You want to hit those targets. So one, two, three. Try to hit the targets with all three balls. <laughs> Not bad. While Lady is practicing step three, I'm going to talk about props. So these are three inch vinyl balls. They're about 100 grams or about a quarter of a pound. Um, baseballs, these are about the same as baseballs. So if you have like some cheap baseballs, those are good. Baseballs, of course, are noisy indoors. That's why Lady has beanbags. Those are better for indoors. Tennis balls are a good size, but tennis balls are very light and they tend to bounce away from your hands. They don't, they don't fall nicely into your hand. But if you have them, if you, if you want to use tennis balls, they, they work well if you take a utility knife, cut the tennis ball, you know, cut a slit, like a, maybe a one inch slit in the tennis ball, and then just start stuffing pebbles or gravel. These like pebble sized gravel, this would be perfect to stuff into a tennis ball to make it heavier. So you just take a utility knife, cut a little slit in the tennis ball, and then just start stuffing pebbles into the tennis ball. And uh, you can make it, you know, like a quarter of a pound. That would be a good weight for juggling. Yeah, the timing, like I should have mentioned, the timing is very important. The rhythm is one, two, three. Nice. That was a very, that was a very good step for you. I mean, you missed one of the balls, but, but it, doesn't, still... it doesn't matter because you're hitting the targets. Yeah. That's the important thing. Yeah. Catching is not the important part. The important part is the rhythm. The rhythm. <laughs> so this is what the pattern looks like. It's a three ball cascade. And as you can see, you have two targets that you're trying to hit and you have a throw box and a catch box on each side. The throws are a little bit closer to your body and the catches are a little farther from your body. And so it's really, really key to understand this is what you're, this is what you're trying to do. Wow, that was very good. I saw that just through the corner of my eye. Nice. Yeah, I mean, it, uh, Lady has is basically got it. So the so the title of this stream is Lady, you know, le finally learns how to juggle. That's a little bit of a misnomer because <laughs> she's basically got it. She's just perfecting. For a lot of people, there's no one eureka moment where you where it just snaps and all of a sudden you can juggle. That's it's, what I'm like. I, that's what I think what like what I'm waiting for is like the moment I'm like, oh, it's like riding a bike. Like yeah. that's what it feels like it should be like, but right. that's not the case. So close. <laughs> nice. That was dumb. <laughs> Some of your exchanges are looking very good. Thank you. I mean, that was great. I'm getting nervous about the third ball. 
But as long as you're hitting those targets and doing good throws, that's amazing. Nice. <gasps> yeah, I mean, that looks, that looks <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I get so excited. <gasps> Just to see if there's any questions. I don't see any questions. So I'm going to keep going. You. Thank you. You're going to get it, lady. It's about progress, <laughs> not perfection. You're right. Hold on. <laughs> progress, not perfection. So, so step two is exchange. Right, left. 